Welcome back, Nail Queens. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to add a watermark and or text, whatever you want to call it, onto your manicure photos so that you can give yourself credit and nobody can steal your shit without giving you credit. So the app that I'm going to be using here today is called Fonto. I love it. You can see the examples that you can add here. I'm not going to be that detailed today, and I will be using an iPhone for this demonstration, but I know that this app is available on the Google Play Store. So the first thing you do is you tap the little camera button here on the bottom and select photo albums. This will take you to your phone's photo albums so that you can select whichever picture you want to add your watermark to. So I'm just going to select this one on the top right and if I press and hold it'll do this but if I just simply tap it gently it'll add it onto the canvas. On this screen, there's several things you can do. On the bottom, you can see all the filters you can add. I do not plan on adding a filter, but it's totally optional. And on the top right, you can crop it. I don't use the crop feature, so I'm just gonna select done right here, and it's gonna take it to the true canvas. Now on this screen, you just have to tap onto the picture, and it should give you an option to add text. You can see that I have a preset of my handle at Toby Nails. I'll show you how to do that later. Right now, I'm just gonna click add text so you can add new text if you don't have a preset. And then I'm just gonna type in a generic username here. You can add your own username, whatever you choose to add, just make it yours so that people can find you, and then click done. On the bottom left, select fonts, and then it will take you to all the already installed on the app fonts that you have available here. So select one that you want, and then it will take you back to the screen and then hit done. Now that there's already text on the screen, you'll get this box where you can edit the style, the font, the text, the size, you can even curve it. There's a lot of options here. So toggle between them and really play with it to figure out how everything works. I'm just gonna increase the size a little bit and I love the curve feature because I like curving my watermark to my like nail, <laughs> to the curve of my nail. So I like doing that. Um, I'm gonna change the size down a little bit more and I just love playing with all this so you can move it, you can tilt it, you can make it go upside down. Really just play with it so that it looks aesthetically pleasing to what you want. There is a move option on this screen, but you can actually use your finger to drag the text to wherever you want it. You don't have to use the move option. I just find it's easier to use the move option if you have to be very precise and using it to drag with your finger if you have to move it a very far area on the photo. So I'm just gonna play with it and I'm gonna show you guys a couple more features where you can actually change the color of the text. So you just have to click on style right here and it'll show three tabs so the first one is text so it's changing the color of the text and the second tab is stroke on the stroke tab this will actually give it an outline on the text you can change the color of the outline or go without a color on the outline you don't have to use that part and then the third tab is for background and you can actually give it a background around your text you can actually also change where it says alpha you can use that to actually change the opacity meaning making it more transparent. I don't use the stroke or the background feature, so I'm gonna make those go away by making the alpha zero so that no color shows up. And I'm gonna show you guys how to save this to your camera roll. So on the bottom, there's the little export button. Just click on that, and then you'll get the save image option to show up. Just click save image, and it will save it to your camera roll. Now I'm gonna show you how to repeat this process without actually having to add more text just replace only the image. So if you have multiple photos that you wanna add a watermark to, like if you take multiples like I do, just click replace only the image when you hit the camera in the middle, and it'll actually keep the watermark on your screen so you don't have to type it all over again, over and over and over. So I'm just gonna play with it just a little, not too long, just to show you guys what I usually do when I'm doing another image with the same text, the same curve. If I have to make any adjustments, I do that, and then I save the image. 
So if you want, you can actually delete the text off of the screen. If you want to use something else, there's a little trash can mark on the far right. Just hit that and then hit remove and it'll get rid of the text for you. Next, I'm going to show you how to save a preset to Fonto so you don't have to retype your username every single time. So all you have to do is go to the bottom left and then click on settings. And then on this new screen, all you have to do is click on preset text. Then you just add a new text right here and just type it in, however, whatever username. This is great actually if you have multiple accounts that you manage or you work for a brand, you can save multiple texts there and then tap on your screen and add that new watermark to whatever image it is. It's just convenient to have that there. And then going back to this, you can actually just delete by swiping to the left and you can delete the ones that you want. Now I'm just going to add a new preset, which is my Instagram handle, Toby Nails. And then I'm going to go back to the photo and add, well, get rid of these that are all over the photo and then just add a new one and then play around with it. So I actually have a preset font that I prefer. I purchased this font and then just imported it into Fonto. That is an option. So if you don't want the generic fonts that come with the app, you can actually import a font into the app and that's really cool. So I love that feature, especially if you're a brand that has a very specific font that you use on all of your branding, having this option is really incredible. So I'm just playing around with it. And one thing I like to do actually is play with the style area. So I like to click on style and mess with alpha. So if I find that a color is too harsh, like too bright, I actually bring it down in the transparency a little bit so that you can still see it, but it's not as like bright as it was. So I'm just going to repeat everything I did because I actually do have to watermark these images so that I can upload this Manny later this week. So I'm just gonna watermark all of them and you guys can see my process. All right, so that's all the images that I have to watermark. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding how I'm using this app, don't hesitate to ask below. Again, I use an iPhone, not an Android, so I can't speak to all the features that are available on an Android app, but hopefully they're the same or very similar. All right, see you guys later. Bye.